Hello and welcome to the Lifestyle Wellness Conference. My name is John Calabresi and I'll be taking you through this next segment of your program. Now, I'm going to be talking to you about your emotions and your health and kind of the interplay between the two. And it will be coming from an Eastern perspective, Qigong specifically. And what we're going to do is kind of, it's a, it's a really in-depth subject. So it's going to, we're going to kind of do a lot of overview on some aspects and then dig in on some of the details that are more pertinent. So, uh, so we'll be going from there. Okay. Now I, I've been training in martial arts for 40 years, teaching for 35. I'm a co-founder of Body Mind Systems. And I'm also the author of You Are the Common Denominator in Your Life, which you can find on Amazon. Uh, now, in talking about uh, chi energy and your emotions and just really, um, you know, how that all affects your health and what you can be doing to manage things and, and take a little bit of control of, of what's going on with you. Okay. Now, in 1972, Ri President Richard Nixon opened up relations with China, which opened the door for Chinese masters of internal martial arts to come to America and start to teach. Now, admittedly, that, uh, you know, it was kind of a tough sell at first. I mean, it, it was very foreign to Americans. And so, I had an opportunity to start trading in that early on. I was a teenager when I started and had an opportunity to, uh, you know, train and teach all most of my, my life, well, my entire adult life. So uh, we're going to be talking about chi energy. And now everyone's pretty much familiar with the concept of chi energy. It's life force. It's kind of what makes us alive. Right. So, uh, but what you may not know is that it's really divided into uh, five divisions, which are called elements. All right. That are, they're all responsible for different aspects of operating and maintaining your physical body. And so each of these elements have different things that are associated with them that, that help activate that element and help you to really, I mean, the goal is to bring everything to balance, right? So I'm going to run through uh, the five elements theory, okay, and give you kind of an overview. From there, we'll dig in on the emotional aspect of it and then really where we're going to go from there to help try to bring things into balance. So starting with metal. Metal is about your lungs, large intestine. Uh, the color is white. The direction is uh, west. And it's also responsible for your skin and hair. And then the emotion is grief. That's an imbalance would be grief. If you're totally balanced, you're all about truth and justice. You are the ultimate justice seeker and, and truth seeker. Okay. So the perfectionist basically. Now you, that leads to water. Water is your kidneys bladder. You have the color of white or blue red of black. Uh, and the direction is north. The emotion is fear, but the upside is it's about knowledge. It's about acquiring knowledge, wisdom, okay? But it's also really responsible for your bone health. Then you go from there to wood. The color is green. The direction is east. The organs are the liver and the gallbladder, and the emotion is rage and anger, okay? And then it's also about vision you know is it a visionary kind of vision okay where you you know you look way down the road big picture but about getting the getting it done you know they're like your best worker 
And it's also, ironically, it's responsible for the eyes themselves. So, yeah, it all ties together. Now, going from wood, we go to fire. Fire, the color is red. Direction is south. The organ is heart. Small intestine. And the emotion is joy, but also sadness. It depends where you're at. It's almost like they get so happy that there's nowhere else to go but sad. <laughs> they run out of, out of, can't really take it any further. But if you have a fire person, they're that bubbly, hyper, just, you know, just too much energy for their own good kind of people. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, you know, and that's going to be your fire. Now, the earth, earth, just think Mother Earth. Okay, uh, the color is yellow. The organs are the stomach and spleen. The emotion is worry, but they're also about nurturing the emotion of love, it, but motherly love, you know, that type of thing. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's your uh, earth. Now that's just kind of a general overview of the actual elements. Now there's actually cycles that go with this. Okay, so let's say, you know, uh, we're having uh, extreme hypertension, right? Our face is just beat red, our heart rate is pounding, our, our blood pressure is through the roof. Uh, not a good situation. But that's your fire element. So what do we have? We have an excess, right? If you're just burning up like that, that's an excess. And you're going to find that you're very sad. <laughs> okay? So that's kind of what goes with that. Now, again, I, I just want to reiterate, we all have all five elements. We just tend to have a dominant one. Maybe two but you're really dominant with those, okay? And so these are gonna be expressed. So when you get upset, these are the go-to emotions, I guess, way to put it. Okay, so we got, we're burning up. Now we have our cycles, right? So if, uh, if metal creates water through condensation, water feeds the, the wood, the wood feeds the fire, and the fire creates the earth through ash. And then the, uh, the earth then produces metal. Now, there's, that's kind of the happy cycle, right? That's the growth cycle. That's the, you know, everything's going great cycle. Now, there's also what's called the controlling cycle or you could look at it as the destructive cycle. Okay, so metal splits wood. Wood uh, breaks up the earth, you know, through the root system. Then the earth contains water, and then the uh, water extinguishes fire, and fire melts metal. So if I'm burning up, I have too much fire. So according to the controlling cycle, water will just put it right out. That would shock the system way, way, way too much and have really negative effects, okay? So you can't do that. So what do you do? Well, you have what are called shoulders. Because if you look, I mean, I said the elements in a very specific order because it flows that way. So now if... I have excess fire. What do I want to do? I want to reduce the fire. How about we just reduce the wood? Less wood feeds the fire, brings it down. Then we can also add a lot of a lot more earth. So we add earth, subtract wood, brings it to balance. Now, when you have and again, this works two different ways. You can say, I've, I've had this feeling of, of worry, okay? I'm just, I've been worried so much for like 
seven years. That's the, after seven years, you're going to see a physical manifestation of that excess or deficiency. So when that out of that, that imbalance, that emotion is going to, in most cases, uh, start to manifest as an actual physical issue in your health. And with, if you look at uh, worry, that will create stomach ulcers because it's related to the stomach, but also your pancreatic cancer. So, because the pancreas and spleen are both affected uh, significantly by the earth element. Now, you could also say that that, that, that emotion is actually a reflection of an already existing issue. You know, so it can work both ways. You can say it, it's going to, it created the body issue or the body issue created the emotion. It can go either way. All right, there isn't, uh, you know, exclusivity on that. But you can see where that, that health is, is directly associated with those uh, emotions. So if, if we say, okay, we're dealing with the lungs, right? And grief. So if you, let's say you're at a funeral, you're really sad, a, a very close relative or friend has passed and you're at a funeral, how are you talking and how are the other people talking? Very subdued, right? Very constrained because the lungs are stressed. They, they're not exuberant and, and busting out, right? No, you're like, oh, yeah, this is really sad. You know, everything's kind of a downer, you know, because everything's kind of, you know, sinking in there. It, it's, it's, you know, you're really uh, having uh, some serious uh, chi flow issues there. Now, if you go to water, now, who's ever heard of this? I got so scared I peed in my pants. <laughs> okay. You, that's literal because it's your bladder kidneys. Okay. That's what they do. <laughs> right? And, um, and then when you get scared in that fear, uh, stresses those organs. I, I, I hope you're, I, it's actually, it's almost kind of simple once you really start breaking it down. Now, if you go to wood, right? Anger, rage, you're, there's, uh, that's going to really affect your liver uh, quite a bit. And there's ways to bring that down. Even hitting different acupressure points will, will bring that down. Uh, you know, we talked about the red face and the hypertension and all that, but how are we going to do it? So we just look at our shoulders. Okay. So metal, if we have metal has issues, we add earth or subtract depending on excess or deficiency, right? And then the water side. So those are our two shoulders because it goes metal, water, wood, uh, fire and earth. And so if you can just kind of follow that circle and then the one on each side of it. So look at your emotion, whether it's anger, whether it's fear, whether it's worry, whether it's grief or any of these associated uh, emotions. And then you look over here. Now, how do you address this? You know, I said we were going to give you some tips on that. Well, notice I said colors. Those colors that I listed actually will have an impact on that element and that chi flow in your body, believe it or not. Okay, so facing a certain direction. I mean, when I say color, you could, for let's say we're having issues with wood, wear green. Green will help with that uh, balance of that element. Okay, or wear white for the, uh, you know, for the metal, we're yellow for the earth, we're black for the uh, water, and red for, uh, for fire. And, and these are colors that you can surround yourself with, color your car, color your carpeting, color your walls, color the clothes you're wearing, 
It could be anything. And so approaching it from that standpoint, now there's physical movements that you can do. Now one that's probably the most direct route are the healing sounds. There's literally sounds and they vibrate the organ system that you're uh, trying to, to regulate. And uh, it's funny, that they're almost like, well, I'll just tell you this. The one for stomach sounds like you got a really bad belly ache. All right, the one for your lungs sounds like a flat tire leaking air. The one for your, uh, you know, uh, for anger, sounds like you're about to swear, like, like you're swearing. All right, so it's just, it's just funny how the, that, that lines up, but I don't know that it was made up that way, but it seemed to work out well. Uh, so you can do these techniques, and they're just easy movements, and then you exert, expel a, a sound, and extend the sound and try to vibrate the organ and bring chi to it and try to bring it to balance. But there's other things because as you, this is a lifelong study by the way, just trying to understand all these pieces. But if, if we say, okay, I need to, uh, you know, reduce my fire. Well, what are the shoulders? Earth on one side, wood on the other side. So lessen the wood, increase the earth. Now, one of the things associated with earth is the large muscle groups. You know, working on your calves, your thighs, your, your larger muscles, build those up. So more like the, the strength training would be good. Now, wood is kind of an active, growing, expanding, uplifting thing, right? So it's got to be subdued. You need to meditate more. So chill over here, ramp it up over here. That will bring that to balance. So as you understand more of the pieces, how to utilize the colors, how to utilize different foods, how to utilize what type of physical activities you're doing, these will all play a role in balancing that element, which will balance your emotions, which will have a positive effect on your actual uh, overall health, which is really kind of the name of the game here, right? Uh, can't, I mean, you don't have your health, you don't have anything. So just to kind of summarize, we established that there's G energy, okay? And it's broken and divided into five elements that's affected by 12 meridians. And there's a certain flow to all of this that we're trying to bring to balance. And you can see when you're out of balance based on your emotions, or you could just have a bad situation that's creating a bad emotion, which could show a uh, deficiency and, and I'm not talking about when you reasonably get upset with something that's you know it's like a, like a one and done you know what I mean I'm talking about when you sustain a negative emotion the guy that's just bitter and pissed for life you know what I'm talking about they just won't let it go they're just you know they're holding on to that emotion so we're gonna express our emotions and that's not necessarily unhealthy but it's when it's a sustained negative emotion, and I mean sustained like seven years or more, that you could very easily find yourself with some health issues as a result of that. Now, just remember, it goes both ways. Emotion can create the problem, the problem can create the emotion, uh, and it's about self-awareness and really being present and, 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 and again, that's what I felt that is a big benefit of training in Tai Chi or Qigong or Bagua Jung because at first you become very aware of your physical self, all the movements, the breathing. Remember when you regulate your breathing, you regulate your mind. So you're able to, uh, you know, really manage by looking at it as five pieces, 
okay? And then look at what emotion goes with what uh, element, and then how do you address that element, and that is Qigong practice. Now, one thing that you can do, uh, now I own the company Growth is a Decision, so it's, you can find it at growthisadecision.com, and on there, uh, I do offer workshops, workshops on the healing sounds, workshops on Tai Chi movements, and give you tools, and in we talk about these principles. There's more principles than the five element, you know, theory. More theory. There's the yin yang theory, uh, understanding the hooray clock. Uh, there's there's just understanding the seasons and how those relate to everything. I mean, there's just tons of of information that's available to uh, become exposed to and learn about. So you just go to the to the uh, website and you'll find uh, different, you can actually set up a workshop for your individual group, organization, or company. And it's just a specific workshop for your, for your group. Or there's workshops given each month, they change each month on different subjects. And then it's just anyone can actually register. It's kind of almost just open to the public type situation. Then I think that really kind of covers it, but just uh, again, understand that it's okay to experience an emotion, okay? It's just you don't want to hold on to it too long. And because again, it is weakening and stressing your systems. And Again, just, you know, I, I just feel like I just talked about like this much of this big, huge thing uh, because it's just such a broad and in-depth subject. But again, we'll, you know, you can have access to more information there. Uh, you can find my YouTube channel, John Calabresi, and there's a number of talks on the subject. And uh, feel free to look for my book on Amazon. I got a second book coming out. Uh, next year, or actually this year at some point, still working on it. Uh, so it's been a pleasure uh, presenting all this information to you. I hope that you can find benefit from it. And if anything, awakened your curiosity into the subject and how you can really utilize uh, that type of information to maintain and manage your health. So feel free to visit me at growthisadecision.com and also my YouTube channel. It's just John Calabresi. Wish you all continued health, good health, and success.